Yeah, it's Whiskey 7, Charlie, Sierra Alpha, name's Robert, located in uh, Gastonia, North Carolina. Yeah, I've spoke with you before. I just want to make sure she's still sounding good and let you know, yeah, you're sounding real good down this way, coming in about 20 dB over today. Roger, well, I'm uh, looking at you on uh, a VU meter. I set my uh, your voice level at zero, and then when you see speaking, I see uh, the ambient uh, channel noise, and uh, it looks to be down there around uh, minus 12, so you are uh, 12 dB above my uh, uh, local noise level, and uh, the audio is just uh, perfect. Roger. All right. Well, hey, thanks a lot. Yeah, you'd helped me out with it before. I had that one tip you gave me, and I've gave it to a lot of other people, too, where you say to crank those highs up all the way because you explained to me how, um, you know, the sideband being transmitted, how you'll lose those highs. And, uh, yeah, that seemed to work good, and I've passed that on to some others, and uh seemed to work good for them. But I just thought I'd stop by and make sure she's still sounding good and say hello to you, Jim. I hadn't talked to you in a while. Oh, Roger. Now, now that's not always the case. It, you know, it depends on the microphone. If the guy's running uh, an electric condenser microphone or a, a professional condenser microphone, uh, he may have uh, quite a bit of uh, top-end uh, uh, response already, so he may not need, uh, you know, max uh, top EQ. He might, uh, you know, be able to do it flat. It all depends on, you know, their 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 sibilance uh, capabilities of the microphone and their, uh, you know, and their uh, current uh, EQ. Uh, so, uh, but uh, that usually is the case that the, the more top end within limitations, uh, the better the articulation. Roger? Oh, yeah, Roger that. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here with someone that needs your help get in, but I just thought I'd say hello. I was, uh, I was able to get to the radio today here, took the day off work. So, all right, Jim, you have a good one up there. I, can't, I think you're in Indiana, I believe, and uh, sounding good down here in North Carolina. W7CSA, I'm going clear. Roger, Roger. Now, uh, just out of curiosity, uh, I, that, the audio was very, very clean, but I did hear one kind of transient. So uh, were you running a foam windscreen? No, I don't have a windscreen. Roger, Roger. Well, your, your signal is very clear, and and that's not the problem. But uh, y you know, it would if if you were to uh, maybe work any closer, or you know, everybody can develop uh, some of those problems. And a good foam windscreen uh, certainly will just uh, take that uh, that problem away. Roger. Oh, okay, Roger that. Yeah, okay. I'll look into getting one of those. But uh, okay. Well, hey, thanks a lot, Jim. Roger, Roger. This is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and uh, the QSOV Like Network. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give us a shout.